Well, I like to dig Dig all night if I could Searching for treasure everywhere Be it the park, the street, or wood When I'm at work I think of where I want to dig Searching for treasure everywhere Don't you know I like to dig? I dig all night if I could, searching for treasure everywhere. Be it the park, the street, or wood. Okay, here I am starting my new head rush wireless headphones which I'm going to attach to my AT Pro and I've just taken the headphones out of the package and I'm reading the manual here and there's the front of it freedom from noise wireless noise cancelling headphones head rush okay so it says to charge it first for five hours Okay, very important because if it doesn't charge for five hours, uh, it could do some damage, and it will it will it will affect the operation and affect the warranty. So I have the headphones, I've got the doggle, and there's the USB cord which you can uh, attach to the back of your computer. And there it is right there. And it says that you can use this plug also, plug it into the wall, which they don't supply you with. But I happen to have several of them, which I use for my cameras and stuff like that. So, uh, anyhow, let me just put the camera down. And there we go. And there we go. I just attached that to the plug. It's ready to go. Charge in the wall. Five hours. And then I'll begin installing this into the AT Pro. Okay. Okay, here we go. Everything is charging. This is to ensure that the lights are on. But the units are off. So lights are on the dongle. I don't know why they call it a dongle, but... Uh, I would call it transmitter, but anyways, dongle it is. That's the dongle. These are the headphones, and also the headphones also have a, a came with a cable that you can use as a regular headphone. You just plug it in there, and let me see what the cable is. There's the cable right there. This is the cable right here. You use them as a regular headphones for your your home whatever and it came with a really cool carrying pouch which is kind of neat I can carry that in my backpack or whatever keep everything in there when I'm out metal detecting uh, so there you go there's the headphones they are recharging in the wall and once they're all charged I will continue the video onto installing it into the AT Pro. It can be I think it could be any metal detector but I just happen to have an AT Pro and that's what I'm gonna use it on. Okay, thanks. Okay, while the headphones are in the are charging I'm going to be cleaning up this detector it's a good chance to clean up get it all nice and clean won't hurt it and then I will start attaching 
new wireless headphones to it. So I'll take the old headphones out. I'll get the adapter, which I got from Middlesex Metal Detectors, and uh, put on the adapter. And by that time, the headphones will be charged. It takes five hours to charge these headphones, the first initial charge. But then after that, it won't take as long to recharge them every time. So the adapter, or I mean the, the what I call the transmitter, uh, is charged already. It's green. <clears throat> the headphones uh, still have a little bit left to be charged. But uh, hopefully by the time I finish cleaning up the metal detector, the headphones will be charged. Okay, while the wireless headphones and uh, transmitter was charging, I noticed when I took out the AT Pro adapter for the headphones, I noticed that the two don't go together. So I had to go to Canadian Tire to get an adapter for the AT Pro adapter. Okay, so they had a package here with various adapters and they and future shop had two singles so I got all three you can never have enough of those I find uh, one time I was out with a group of people and one guy he lost his and he was all upset about it uh, I had an extra one and the same thing happened to me mine busted and somebody else had an extra one so it's always good to have an extra one while I was there also, I got gloves, really nice plastic coated ones or rubber coated ones with a cotton top to it. And I also got a belt uh, for my, let me just see here, for my new finds pouch that I got. As you can see, while during the winter time I try to get set up for the spring with all the new stuff new gear uh, this is my old um, Garrett Pro, Pro Pointer which I thought was dead but it ended up it, it was just too wet inside some water got inside uh, and now it seems to work fine and I did order a new one so I'll keep this one as a backup. Uh, anyhow, uh, I'm going to get this underway. Okay, I've got the AT Pro adapter right here. And I've hooked it up into here. It's got to go straight in. It has a little seal on it. A little washer type of thing that keeps it waterproof up to 10 feet. I'm just going to screw that in, give it a nice, make it nice and snug, not too tight, you don't want to strip it, you want it just so that it's nice and loose, nice and snug I mean. You'll have to excuse me with uh, my mistakes here, but not every day I do these videos. Okay. Move around a little bit more. Wish there was a better way that they can do this, but because these washers, if you don't do it right, when you're out there, these things come loose and then water gets in and uh, that's when trouble starts. So you just want to jiggle it around a little bit, go right in. Okay. Okay, I've just uh, read the instructions, which I should have done to begin with, on the installation of the AT Pro adapter. And it says that I have to remove the cuff, take the bottom cuff off, take the foam off, take the bracket off the uh, headphone adapter slide it through the foam and put the foam back on, 
put the cup back on, reattach the bracket, then attach the accessory underneath the cup. Okay, so this is the cup right here that I'm going to take off. I've got to take off that screw there, slide that off, slide the foam off, slide this through the foam, put the foam back on, and then it will fit underneath the foam like that, and then it will come up underneath the bracket nice and neat, away from getting tangled with anything. Okay, I'm going to do that. Okay, I put in the the adapter right here. She's nice and snug. I fed it in through the foam handle. Put the foam handle in. Wrapped around the shaft here. Whoop, don't want to lose that part. Ah, sorry about that. Took off the, the these two pieces here, the armrests, put them back on, put on the bracket that came with the adapter, that's in, and I put in the adapter that I got a Canadian tire to fit with the smaller plug. So it looks like I'm ready to rock and roll for the test. Okay, so here we go. Just a little side note here is that little adapter, the other adapter. I just put in my little small box here of stuff. I got guitar keys and stuff like that and metal detecting little caps. And what do I find? I find an adapter that I had to go all the way to Canadian Tire for and Future Shop and I couldn't find this one and I knew I had it somewhere but anyhow I've got lots of extras but there you go okay okay I'm ready to plug in the wireless I've got the adapter nicely tugged underneath there wire wrapped around underneath the foam connect it right underneath there now the instructions for the freedom rain wireless noise cancellation headphones users manual for head rush says turn on the audio source first so I'm going to turn on she's on Then, we take the doggle, which I'm going to unplug. Now, I'm going to plug that doggle underneath here. Now, this is an experiment, so it, it uh, just one second. Okay, she's underneath there. Now, this is where I've originally put this. I may modify this later on to find a better spot. The other option is taking this coil, taking this bracket off, and just putting some Velcro underneath here. And you could have it underneath there. So there's many options. It does not have to be here. I'm just doing this here just for demonstration purposes. So it says now to turn on the doggle, dongle, or whatever you call it. I like to call it transmitter. I think the name is weird. It says to press the button, hold it for three seconds. One, two, three. Blue light is on. She's ready for action. Okay, she's on. Next step, unplug the headphones. Okay, now the headphones, it says, 
to turn the on button on for 12 seconds, I guess, for it to transmit its signals, whatever it needs to do. I'm going to move the headphones over here. They actually look quite nice. So, let me see here. I'm going to turn that on. Keep that on. And we shall see what happens. A learning experience for me too, everybody out there. So, if I do something silly, don't mind me. Okay. Now. Now the next step is to take Take a coin, take one of these. A friend of mine at work got this for me from Somalia. Nice big coin, beautiful. I don't know if it's silver, I think it is, but anyhow. Let me just see here. No signal yet. There is a volume switch on here. Okay. Is on. Volume switch. Let me see here. Back in one second. Okay, like I said before, I'm learning. Now you got two lights on these headphones. You've got your on and off. After you turn on the dongle. Okay. You have got, and the blue light will go on and off, which means that it's ready for transmitting. Turn on the source first, turn on the doggle, then you turn on the headphones, and you turn on, you got an off and on switch, switch it on. Then on this side for pair, there's a button right there that you have to press in for 12 seconds until you get this blue light which means it's ready and it's transmitting with that sounds a little bit complicated but like anything else you get used to after a while and you become second hand so as you can hear and I'm going to turn the volume way up on this so that we can hear it I'm going to press that. Nice and clear. Success. So that's it right there. Everything works. We got this ready. This piece is underneath here. That piece is underneath there. There's a switch. It doesn't have to be there. You can unroll the coil. Unroll, unroll the wire. You can place it underneath here with it. With uh, Velcro. And as you can hear, like usual, she's going crazy. And the other thing too is you could buy two sets of these. You could have two dongles. Have them both charged. Apparently they're good for two to three hours each time. Uh, so if you get two of them, have one as a spare, you're going to have six hours. And if you get a mini charger, you could be charging the second one while you're using the first one. So you always have a replenishment while you're out there. So, the next step, I'm going to go out and I'm going to try it in the backyard. Okay, here I am out in the backyard. I have got everything all hooked up. I've got the dongle right there. Again, what a weird name. Anyhow, everything's all set up. Now I've got my headphones on. 
they fit really nice. They really block out a lot of sound from the outside. So I'm going to take this off here and just give you a sample of the sounds. Hopefully you can hear that. I've got the headphones off around my neck and I've got the camera by here, so... Just trying to get a decent signal. Something that's repeatable. That's junk. So far it's good. I'm impressed with it. I'll turn it back on when I get a decent signal. Hold on. Okay, here's a pretty good repeatable signal. Sounds all right. Not bad. So there you go. Wireless headphones. Lasts up to three hours per charge. I recommend you get two. And the other positive aspect of this is that they're great for the woods. And the woods typically in the heavy brush you know maybe you're only gonna last for like two or three hours in there anyways and you bring an extra one with you so not bad anyhow I'm not gonna dig back here today I just wanted to show you guys the new system Oh, there is a nice signal. Sixty-six, sixty-one, sixty-three, seventy-five. Ah, might be junk. Anyways, I'll keep that in mind for when the spring thaws out. Okay. So anyhow, there it is. I'm gonna place this down. Put the headphones next to it. And pretty good. Pretty good. So I hope you enjoyed the video. It's the Head Rush Wireless headphones. They were on sale. Um, not sure if the sale has ended or not, but it was $49, regular $150. Uh, you can find it through the source. Just key that in. The source on Google and you, you can even put in the source headphones and it'll come up and you could see and uh, I got the thing in like a day and a half that's how fast the shipping was I never had anything shipped so fast in all my life uh, I was quite surprised I had ordered it on the on the Sunday and I got it uh, Tuesday after work so uh, anyhow I uh, hope you enjoy the video and thanks for watching Hopefully all this stuff really uh, clears up soon. And it will. One day at a time we'll get there. Thanks for watching. Bye.